Ninetales is an all-around solid Pokemon in GCNU. It was one of the Pokemon that dropped in the 2018 tiering shifts, but it was largely unused in the Raichu metagames, being dominated by the Broken Water types and outclassed by Raichu. When the Broken Water types and Raichu are banned, Ninetales viability improved greatly, and it established itself as a great Pokemon in the modern GCNU metagame. After a few months of not being noticed, Ninetales has an all-around solid stats spread, being fast, quite strong and having good defensive stats. In particular, its special defense is fantastic, which combined with its typing, makes it one of the best Sawtooth answers around. It is also one of the few answers to the dangerous Magnemite, and checks other Pokemon like Gloom, Magmar and Rapidash. In the early days of GSCNU, Sunny Day teams were very dangerous and Ninetales was perhaps the best answer to them, using Toxic to ruin the fire types on these teams. Its speed let outspeed the key 95 base speed tier that Zatu and Primeape were in, laying out revenge kill weakened Pokemon like Statler and Primeape. The speed also let Ninetales use rest first before most of its opponents, which could be crucial. Ninetales is generally irritating to KO, but are using a set of Flamethrower, Toxic and Rest Talk most commonly. Ninetales is one of the few Pokemon to learn Roar and Juice, see I knew, which, which you can use the solid effect. The combination of Roar and Toxic with Spikes Up can be an incredibly irritating shuffler that spreads passive damage while also revealing information about the opposing team and facing baton pass users like Flareon and Ladeon. Toxic is useful to force rest talk Pokemon such as Octillery to, ch to take chip damage which can force them to rest, which can be capitalised on by a Pokemon like Statler. On rest talk sets, Ninetales can also run Hidden Power Grass to chip Water and Rock types or Reflect to improve its team's matchup against physical attackers but Toxic is generally the best and most consistent option. It's also worth noting that Ninetales can run non-rest Talk sets, but options like Sunny Day, Hypnosis and even Roar, but these sets are generally inconsistent and tough to use. With an 81 base special attack and stab flamethrower, Ninetales is far from passive as well, doing solid damage and hitting Pokemon like Pinko, Gloom and Magnemite super effectively. It also three kills Pokemon like Weezing, Primeape and Statler. Paired with Toxic and Spikes, Ninetales can be a seriously good offensive threat that is hard to take down. Because of all this, Ninetales is a staple on bulkier teams with Pokemon like Gloom, Hitmonlee and Chinchou. Its defensive qualities pair well with Gloom, as well as water types, which can form a grey fire water grass core. As a result, Ninetales is a great Pokemon in GSCNU, and is something that every offensive team needs a plan against. The Fox face is one issue though, and that problem is Octillery. Octillery hard counters Ninetales completely walling it and 2 KOing Ninetales in return. Octillery is a very bad Pokemon to let in, with it being hard to switch into long term. While Ninetales can't toxic it to force a rest, it still won't KO it by itself. Ninetales ground weakness also leaves it vulnerable to Pokemon like Dugtrio, as well as Pokemon ground coverage moves such as Kingler, Statler and Magmar. While Ninetales is not that weak, it still struggles to reliably break through the bulkier Pokemon in the meta game, such as Wigglytuff, Dugong and Lickitung. This can also let Pokemon such as Sandler and Kingler use Ninetales as set up opportunity.